السلام علیکم پروگرام امبیسی روڈ میں خوش آمدید ناظرین آج ہمارے مہمان ہیں پاکستان میں فلسطین کے سفیر محترم حازم ابو شناب اور وہ ایک جانے پہچانے سفارتکار ہیں پاکستان اور فلسطین کے تعلقات بہت گہرے ہیں ہمیشہ پاکستان نے فلسطینیوں کے حق خود ارادیت کی حمایت کی ہے اور مسلسل ان کی حمایت کرتا آ رہا ہے ہم آج ان سے بات کریں گے تازہ ترین جو صورت اعلیٰ فلسطین کی اور خاص طور پر اسرائیل جو ہے وہ اس وقت فلسطینیوں کے ساتھ جو مظالم ڈھا رہا ہے ان کے اوپر اور دنیا کی کسی بھی قوت اور دنیا کے مختلف ممالک کی وہ بات نہیں سن رہا اور اس نے جو وعدے کیے تھے فلسطینیوں کے ساتھ وہ پورے نہیں کر رہا اسی پہ ہماری بات ہوگی امبیسڈر تھینک یو فار جوائننگ اس ان دس پروگرام تھینک یو اہل مسحل تھینک یو امبیسڈر واٹ از دا لیٹسٹ بیکاز یو نو یو وینٹ ٹو دا یونائٹیڈ نیشنس uh to seek the membership of the united nations you had a lot of support there and the entire world is uh, asking for uh, israel to give you the right of self determination to to be prepared to uh, for a two state uh, solution of the problem so what's happening bismillah rahman rahim it's very obvious that the uh, at the un there is still a pressure coming from the uh, uh, some of the members especially from the united states Uh, to not to get the accurate the, the reasonable number that we could uh, after that go for the um, membership this is in the uh, security council but uh, this doesn't mean that we cannot go for other solutions we have other solutions we can go for that but the major question is that why are they doing this um, our cause is a legal cause our cause is a just cause our cause is uh, a right cause so why are they doing this in this time we are the last people that is still under the occupation and um, um, yani we should have our self determination and our independence very quickly but all of that we can we can deal with that um, the other issue that uh, we have as we, as i said we have other scenarios we are moving on the other scenarios heading to the um, uh, Uh, impose the fact that we are existed and we are a people that they have an, an independent, independent state but the israelis are also again acting that they um, that they are still uh, believe that they are occupation and they don't want to give back our palestinians uh, particularly the two major groups of palestinian uh, <coughs> al-fatal al-hamas both have uh, joint hands and they are demanding a, a, an independent palestinian state everyone, everyone that's right yes mm. but and the other world too is crying for that uh, but still israelis are adamant they are not uh, yielding to the uh, pressure of the international community what is there in their mind the israelis in their mind that they are a power of occupation the israelis do have in their mind that they don't like the peace the israelis in their mind they don't want to see a palestinian independent state the israelis in their mind they don't want But to they see they committed to this to to uh, state theory and they they committed to the world and the united states and other countries that they are uh, they will agree for the creation of two states independently you can say that they were committed because this government the government that is led by benjamin netanyahu, netanyahu and the fundamentalist uh, Victor Lieberman who is working as a foreign uh, secretary a foreign uh, minister and with the other uh, parties of the coalition that is ruling Israel now they are not committed but to the uh, uh, destroying of the peace and they are committed to the mind of being a power of occupation they are doing nothing but um, as I said the destruction of the peace process and they are doing everything that they can do to not to do Does anything mean, in this uh, mr bester that the uh, israelis have uh, found or according to their assessment the uh, the arabs and the islamic world and probably the other world which is supporting the cause of palestine is so weak that they cannot uh, put pressure on israel enough pressure to get these uh, commitments implemented uh, in practice we can say it in a different way what's happening in the arab world nowadays makes everyone very busy with his internal issues so um, this means that um, they cannot focus on two sides internal and outside external um, maybe this led to the po- to the point that you are talking about but we can say that this doesn't mean that we are losing the palestinian cause this means that it's going to be more uh, strong in the future 
because of the changes what are, that are happening, every change that happened in every single world, every single country, uh, shows that every every people, every regime, uh, are stuck to the idea of having a Palestinian independent state. And all these countries, all these peoples, are supporting the idea of having a Palestinian independent state. The Israelis, maybe they are the major losers of all of uh, what's happening, because uh, the, the, uh, the, the principle of uh, peace process and, uh, and the, res uh, resolution, uh, the result of this is to have two states for two peoples. But if it, uh, if it continued like this, that the Israelis are not accepting to have a Palestinian independent state, it means, again, يعني, different scenarios. One of these important scenarios that we will go for one state for two peoples, which means that the Israelis are, should, should be under force to, understand, uh, to, uh, to accept the idea that the Palestinian people will be part of, of uh, and the Israelis will be a part of one country. Yeah, this is a new idea being discussed, that it's one an old state, idea. two people. Yes, it's, it's an old, old idea. idea. But is it acceptable to Palestinians that they will accept a, an Israeli government? Who told you that we are going to accept an Israeli government? You are talking about something in the future. We cannot control the future yet. It can be a Palestinian government. It can be a government of um, combined government. It can be different things. But the, uh, the major idea that we and them are going to be in one country, are they going to accept that? This is not the question so for me, it's the question for the Israelis. They are not are they going to accept that? Yeah, No, but they are not accepting any of the solutions. One government and two people living together or two independent states. My brother, it's very obvious that the Israelis are refusing the idea that we are human beings and we are people like other peoples. They think that they are superiors and they are different creatures that they can do whatever they want. And no one regarding the law, the international law, can do anything, can punish them. Look what, are they, what they are doing. They are doing everything illegal against the Building Palestinian. Building colonies on the Palestinian land? The settlements, the colonial, uh, colonial uh, settlements on our land. Mm. They are pushing the people uh, uh, into diaspora. Um, uh, they are kicking us out since 1948. And they are uh, uh, kicking the people from, our, uh, from their lands, which, which is Palestine. And they are sending us for every place but to Palestine, and now they are again doing this this uh, this game, playing this game. They are evacuating Jerusalem from its uh, uh, population, the Palestinian population, and replacing them with uh, Jews' uh, population. This is illegal. The international law doesn't allow this. The the UN doesn't allow this. Um, in uh, two days but before, they're not listening to the United Nations. The two, UN uh, yes. Human Rights Panel has recently said two that days before my human rights yes, violations. Yes, I will show you some documents. Two days before, the UN voted for Palestine with a high majority, with a very high majority, telling the the Israelis that you shouldn't do that, and we are with the Palestinians. Look at the resolutions. Look at the voting. Yeah, too the much majority, voting. The majority is uh, the majority supporting the Palestinian cause. Yes, but, but the, the response of Israel is that this uh, panel is anti-Israel panel, and most of the members are anti-Israel. This is the question. So why are they doing that? Because they they feel that they are protected. There is some great power that is protecting this illegal uh, actions by the Israeli government. And this Israeli government must be understood from all over the world that these are the, uh, the ones who are controlled by the mind of occupiers. They don't accept the idea of peace. While we are talking, as you were asking in the, your second question, that uh, what's happening in the Arab world and the Arab Spring. We'll come to that and we'll take a break. Excuse okay. me. For but I will give you a, a little okay. hint before the break, which is what's happening in the Arab world should affect Israel and we should see something changing inside Israel so they can live together. We'll take a short break and we'll come back. Nazir, we'll take a short break and we'll come back. After a break, we'll listen to Pakistan and Palestine. We'll listen to the world in the Arab world at the time. What is the effect of the Palestinian issue on the Palestinian issue and what is the effect of the Palestinian issue on the Palestinian issue? Welcome back. We, you were talking about the uh, changes that are taking place in the Arab world surrounding uh, which is known as Arab Spring. And you said that they are busy in their own internal issues. Mm -hmm. So is this also weakening the cause of Palestinians? No, 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 no way. 
Uh, on the other, يعني, on the opposite directly, what's happening in the Arab world, strengthening the, the Palestinian cause. Everyone we met, uh, any, any, any Palestinian uh, in, uh, character, uh, met uh, the representatives of the Springs, uh, everyone was sticking to the idea of, ha- of having a Palestinian independent state. And everyone is, uh, is talking strongly, firmly, that we want to see our brothers, the Palestinians, having their, uh, their own independent state and to enjoy their self-determination. So we are not worried of that, no. Uh, we are saying that nothing is changed regarding the Palestinian cause. We have the support from the Arab countries and now we are having support also again from the Arab countries. Either there are changes happening in their regimes. This is... Uh, um. What about the uh, the other world? I mean, the European Union was also very sympathetic to your cause, and they were putting pressure on Israel to uh, agree to the idea of two independent states. And you know, a lot of missions were sent, a lot of uh, uh, efforts were made by the uh, European Union and their leaders. And recently, when uh, the European Union Foreign Minister re- made some remarks about Palestinian people, plight of Palestinian people, there was a huge resentment in Israel. Uh, this is their issue with the Israelis. The Israelis are not accepting any kind of criticism regarding their big mistakes and big sins they are committing uh, against our people. So um, um, this is something that you noticed in the media, but I noticed something different uh, regarding the, the two previous days. In the voting in the UN, complete Europe Uh, voted supporting the the issue of Palestine again the 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 results of the uh, UN member uh, yes. UN panel on human rights complete Europe voted in the human rights uh, council complete Europe so this means that the Israelis are uh, are facing hard time but would that hard time this is the question would that hard time uh, on the legal uh, issues I mean um, in the UN Will it be something uh, can be um, uh, d- deployed on the ground yeah, and we would and, see and something like that? Can it be like given a com- concrete shape or not? That's the question. This is the question. But, but do you think that uh, now that the Arabs are busy, you know, some of the Arab countries uh, which are s- witnessing a revolution or a change uh, at mm. home, mm. is it also uh, weakening the resolve of the Palestinian people? Are they feeling that uh, there's nobody behind them <coughs> and particularly the Arab world is now uh, not very strongly voicing uh, the rights of the self-determination brother, of, of The question is not in the Arab world. The question is that with the big brother the Israelis are having that is supporting them and protecting them this way. The question is that um, uh, the, the American veto. The question that they feel the Israelis with their uh, occupation mind and the occupational work action on the ground, they feel that they can do all these mistakes, all these illegal uh, sins. And get away. Any, yes, and, and, and go away and let away. No one is punishing them. They must feel that they are under, under punishment like other world. On the other hand, politically, yani let's, let's go for another, another side. Politically, The, the, the whole world is talking about having more democratic regimes and to see results in the uh, uh, world. Okay. We accept that and we are, uh, we are doing, acting like that. The problem again is in the Middle East, there is a country called Israel and this Israel is acting severely against the uh, population, against the Palestinian people, acting hardly, severely, against the human rights, acting against democracy in, in, in the Middle East. They are not accepting the, uh, the, the winners of the uh, Palestinian elections. We, we are winning, we are doing, uh, and we are going in a democratic way and uh, forming a democratic regime. All the world did come and witness our, our elections, but they are, not, they are giving a big margin for the Israelis to act against the law, against even the international community will. With no punishment. Do you visualize or foresee another intifada uh, to, to actually stop Israelis from uh, what they are doing now to Palestinian people? Everything can happen. Everything can happen. Yani no scenario is expanded. But 
The other question is, do you think that the atmosphere is ripe for this intifada? I'm telling you no. But could it happen? Yes, it can happen. One mistake can lead the whole people to revolt again. Uh, the Israelis are in the corner, and they should understand that. But we are, yani, what I'm trying to say since the beginning of this uh, program, that the international community must understand that the Israelis are driving the world out of the scenario that they are going on. The, the Israeli government, this fundamentalist Israeli government, is out of the line, is playing another uh, uh, yeah. music uh, game. Yeah. Why I'm saying because uh, there could be another intifada because uh, opposed to Israel by the international community, by the United Nations and the Arab world, uh, resolve this issue peacefully. Therefore, uh, that could bring, uh, that could breed frustration among the Palestinians and they could resort to another intifada. The poet say, said, إذا الشعب يوما أراد الحياة فلا بد أن يستجيب القدر. Is it Mahmoud Darwish? This was uh, this was Abu Qasim al I think, of Tunisia. This means that the people, if wanted life, the fate must respond. So the Israelis must understand this: that this kind of culture is controlling the mind of the human, and the Arab world is part of the human that has existed on the uh, on the earth. So this can happen whenever, when the time is suitable, it will happen again. So they have to work to not to have this kind of intifada. How can they do that? They should go under the process that is happening in all over the world to understand that there are changes happening, to understand that the world is not accepting the idea of having occupation. The Israeli occupation, the, the, the mentality of occupier is not accepted in, in, in the world again. So they have to get rid of themselves, of this kind of thinking. How would they do that? This is what I'm saying. The international community must be involved hey, Mr. in What this. about the Islamic countries or the Muslim countries, which mm. have not engaged uh, internally, you know, mm. they are not facing any turmoil, internal mm. turmoil, mm -hmm. like uh, Pakistan, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and other major Islamic countries. Are, are they not... Uh, playing their role properly or you're satisfied with what they are doing? And you know, this question we always uh, face. We say that they are doing well, we are expecting more. Okay, so this is the, the, the situation, this is the question. Number two, again, what we think is that there are major players in, in other parts of the world that th they should do more uh, regarding the Palestine cause to stop making the whole, uh, the whole international community seeing that uh, um, this one is punishing. They should be punished for their bad attitude. So, uh, you know, it is obvious that they are not being punished. And is an internal... No, I'm telling you something different. This is what I wanted you to, to reach to. Are they punished or not? not they punished. started to be under punishment. What we did in the UN, that everyone uh, watched us trying to go to the uh, Security Council to get our membership in the UN. Now we are gaining our membership in different international organizations. Yeah, like like UNESCO. UNESCO. Yes, yes and exactly. other important... Uh, organizations. This is through the UN. So we are members as Palestine, independent Palestine state. You think okay. it's a step forward towards the short break? Nazir, we have a break and after break, we will talk about Pakistan and Palestine. We will talk about Palestine 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 and Palestine. Welcome back. Uh, Ambassador, uh, you said that the UN uh, team will go, international team will go there to uh, see for themselves what is happening on the ground against the Palestinians, how the Palestinian lands are being grabbed and settlements are being constructed there. But the Israelis, do, do you think they will allow them to go there and see these things? No, I don't think so that they will allow them to go there. 
then what will be the reaction? And again, I'm telling you, this would mean again, and to show the international community that these Israelis are working against the international will. And it would show that this kind of regime is not going in lullaby, is not accepted in the international community, new formation for the world. This would mean that they should be in the, in the corner to be under punishment, and they should be in the, in the corner of that they should start their changing. Another question which is important, I thought that you would ask, which is the results that happened last night. In Israel, there were, there were elections for the uh, Kadima party. You don't follow here in... in uh, we do read, uh, we do see this. In the things. Kadima, when it was established, it was established to be a, a center party in the middle. What's happening regarding... A moderate the, party. A mo okay. Yeah. What happened in last night elections... The, the party went more right to the fundamentalists. So it means, again, that the uh, political parties are again going to the right... They are taking extreme positions. Too much. So this means that they cannot read and understand the changes which are happening in the world, or, especially or, in the region. Or you may say, uh, one can say that uh, the, these parties are hardening their position as uh, the international pressure is mounting on them, you have gone to the United Nations and the UN uh, uh, panel on human rights has voted in your favor. And this is basically these steps should have put pressure on Israel to change its stance, but it is hardening its stance towards Palestine. So what's going to be the result? Brother, when you feel that you are, you are doing all the mistakes in the world and someone is protecting you, so you would feel that you can go along with your mistakes. What happened is that the Israelis did make all these mistakes regarding the law, although that they were protected. So that's why the response was that the uh, Israeli mood, the more um, fundamental extremist, uh, extremist uh, yes. to, so the, to, to their leadership. Back, sometime back, there was uh, uh, the world witnessed a change in the in the thinking of some of the Palestine, uh, some of the Israeli uh, political parties and politicians, like Ishaq uh, Rabin and Shimon Peres and these these people. No, yes. the others, the, hmm. those who wanted a peace with uh, with Palestinians. Yes, Ishaq yes, Rabin and uh, Shimon Peres. Yes, so they were they were thinking on these lines, but uh, and also I think some people in the press were also voicing this concern that we should live in peace and eternal enmity with Palestinian is not suitable for them. But now it looks uh, that they have gone back, as you have said, they have gone back to their extreme positions. What is the reason? The reason is that when they, uh, when they, when these people, the people that li li like the idea of having peace with the Palestinian people, uh, it was very obvious that there is a more stronger power working inside Israel, refusing this kind of ideology. That's why it's Haq Rabi, who was one of the strongest prime ministers in the history of Israel, he was assassinated by an Israeli uh, fundamentalist. Tel Aviv, in the streets, among the people, which means that there is a strong ideology in Israel, refusing the idea of having the peace. Again, I'm referring you to the point uh, uh, that when these fundamentalists who are controlling Israel feel that they are under protection and they cannot be touched or they can, can work over the you law, above the law, they, are being they can go more fundamentalist than this. They are being protected by the United States alone or they have their sympathizers and protector elsewhere in the world. It's happening, but when you are talking with logic, uh, the logic always wins. Logic means that uh, 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 no one can go longer support this kind of fundamentalism and this kind of terrorism that the, the Israeli government is practicing against the Palestinian people. Not only against the Palestinian people. What's happening again? This is what I'm trying. A politic there is a political idea behind all of that. That what's happening? All the changes that is happening in the region shows that it's all a way of the way that Israel is acting with. This kind of regime is out of the whole 
it out, out of sync with the whole scenario. I, I, exactly. This is what's happening. So, in a way or another, in a time or another, the Israelis must understand that this issue all will go, they will be involved. Or they will be expelled away of that. They will be out of the whole scenario, out of the whole music that is played. What about in those uh, missions uh, uh, when President Obama came uh, to power uh, three years back? Mm -hmm. He addressed uh, at the Cairo University and he said he actually extended a, a hand of friendship to the Islamic world and he mm -hmm. promised and he said that there, there, could be, uh, there should be two states, one uh, Israel and the, and the Palestinian state. No, he said Palestine. Okay, so he, he committed to that. Why has he gone back on his words or why he couldn't implement uh, this program? I hope that you can ask him this question. No, what's your assessment on this? I hope that you can ask him this question because we are all waiting for this answer from his side. Uh, when he said that, when he said that I am promising of a, an independent Palestinian, Palestinian state, and uh, next year he said in front of the whole UN in the General Assembly that next year, which was last year, we will see the Palesti uh, Palestine state flag raising here in the UN. United Nations. But... Uh, on opposition, we found a, a Palestinian, a, a, an American refusal uh, for that. Um, I think that this affects um, uh, uh, the policy that is happening in the region, not only in the region, maybe in the whole world. And again, I'm referring you, me, and everyone to the voting that happened in the uh, uh, UN. Very soon, in the last few months, since last September until now, all the votings did happen went strongly supporting the Palestinian cause, which means that it is only regarding this voting that we are having the results. You can read the names. Who is saying no? Who is saying you? no? Read it. It's only the United States. So what does that mean? It's only one state refusing the whole direction and beliefs but of the that international because, world. Because it's, it's the sole superpower. So uh, when it says no, it means no. And <coughs> Now, what is your reaction? And do you to think that we will uh, yani, just uh, keep quiet and uh, forget no, about I, that? No, I don't think you should. No, you, we cannot do keep quiet. We will keep working to gain our rights back. It's not our job to keep silent and uh, that's it. No, 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 no. We are working. We will keep working. We will keep reminding the world that we have our rights and we will continue working to gain back our rights. Do you foresee, uh, uh, Ambassador, any change of heart and mind uh, in the Israeli leaders sometime in the future? Uh, will they say they will, that they should recognize or they should accept an independent Palestinian state and bring peace and stability to Middle East? Because the, uh, the, the peace and stability in Middle East is dependent on this issue alone. Uh, whether Israelis are going to give you this right of self-determination or not. So uh, how long they can live in this state of eternal enmity and, you know, this kind of environment? <laughs> I will tell you something. We are all human. And under our hair, there is a little piece of meat called brain. We are using it. I'm calling them to use it. The brain says that you have to think and to understand that it should be at the end a state, a Palestinian independent state. Now, if they like it, they don't like it, it's their issue. For us, we are going for our independent state. We'll take another short break, uh, Mr. Ambassador. Nazim, take a short break. break let us break from the break. After the break, we'll continue our discussion. Welcome back. Now, the uh, Palestinian state you are saying that uh, you are, of course, you are winning on certain fronts, like the United Nations, uh, uh, you have uh, had en enough votes. And, uh, you know, the world is gradually recognizing that Palestinians are being subjected to uh, pressures and uh, subjected to inhuman treatment by the Israelis. But uh, aggressions, killings, yeah, and we are losing uh, so many people every day until a few days before you can see that tens of the Palestinians were under the Israeli shelling, the Israeli uh, killing the, and everything. And you can notice also that some of the media leakage, 
يعني not only uh, the uh, WikiLeaks you, know, you can now have other other leakage talking about completing the training of the Israeli army regarding reinvading the Palestinian territories especially in the Gaza Strip yes Strap. I've seen that and I think uh, uh, they have threatened that they they will occupy or reoccupy the areas that are not under occupation of Israel so if that happens that's a very scary scenario what is going to be the reaction of palestinians and also the islamic world um, um, yani usually diplomats say you should wait and and see i'm telling you the, the 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 history says in palestine something different you cannot wait when something like this happened of course there will be a reaction again we are reminding ourselves before we remind the international community violence bring violence killing brings retaliation uh, blood brings blood so the israelis must understand that they cannot go and do this extremist way of thinking and attitude they have to think that to have peace present peace to have reasonable response bring reasonable action but to present blood you will only harvest blood so this is not the way that we want it we want peace we want independence we want our country we want to be just like recognized like any other uh, part in the in the world but this is not the israelis that the 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 the, the, the existing israelis are working this way look at them they are working in a very fundamental way there was a move way. recently you know the uh, freedom flotilla went uh, there to help the people in gaza and they were not treated well by israelis in fact they were some, killed they were they killed were, hmm. and uh, a lot of military aggression took place on the part of israel and after that this movement has also uh, somewhat weakened or uh, you know no more freedom for flotillas and in the islamic world also i think the steam is now not th that that we are not w witnessing and watching that kind of enthusiasm any longer um nowadays if you are watching the media you can hear about that um, so many people from different countries are trying to reach uh, uh, some points to say that we want to go to jerusalem we want to see jerusalem free jerusalem is a part of the palestine state and this is what the international law says also that jerusalem is occupied by the israeli occupation power we want it to be free one number two notice that it's not coming from the um, uh, from the common people it's only coming higher and higher uh, so many of the elites are revising us saying that how can we go to jerusalem to bring it back not only to go there uh, you need to enjoy the time you know that jerusalem is a part of the of the muslims christians and jews Uh, uh, culture it's a very sacred place for all religions excellent this is this is what what it is so everyone wants to go and pray there in their good place but they are not allowed allowing they people are not to go allowed there. by the israeli occupation even force even christians are not allowed no. christians even jews even even muslims not yani not all the jews are accepted to go there there are some jews that they are that they believe that this is palestine this is not israel and they are not accepted by these fundamentalists who are working in in, in Israel. We want to go there. As we go to Mecca, to Al-Kaaba, to do Hajj there, to do Hajj there, or every Muslim wants to com complete his Hajj by going to uh, Al-Quds, to Jerusalem, to Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. Every Christian that goes for his church in any part of the world, he wants to go to Jerusalem and to Bethlehem to complete his his uh, his Hajj also, his pilgrimage. So the Israelis are not accepting that. They are not giving the, 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 the freedom of practicing religion. Again, they are out of sync. Yes. Uh, Ambassador, uh, that now that uh, you, uh, the, the Palestinian groups, Al-Fatah and Hamas, there were huge differences between these two groups, and israelis were exploiting these differences now that you have come to terms with each other excellent uh, but still there are <coughs> fears being expressed uh, and comments being made that there is still a division between these two 
factions. No, no, no. It's not like this. It's different now. You remember that uh, first time I made, uh, uh, we started an interview, you and me. I remember that I told you if uh, Hamas did start to recognize the reality of the ideology, their ideology and our ideology, they would uh, they would uh, understand that there are so many uh, principles that we are sharing together. They believe and we believe in. Now, after the signing of the agreement in Egypt and in Doha, uh, the majority of Hamas is understanding this. They can understand that um, it's better that we reunite again and to work as uh, almost uh, a united One entity. Okay, yani, uh, yani, as 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 a united front. As a united front. Okay, so they understand that. But the problem is that, and this is something normal in my opinion, that there is still a part of Hamas that they cannot accept this ideology, and they would go, yani, extremely away of the uh, of the thing that we all agreed on. They have their own interests. They have their own way of thinking. They have their own uh, way of solving the questions. So by the end, Hamas will take a decision regarding them. Either they are tamed and they are part of them, or they will be out of uh, the, 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 the major party, uh, which is their, their Hamas. So this happened in m most of the parties, the political parties in Palestine and in every place all over the world. It is something uh, happened, and it can be happening in the in the future. Now I am telling you, it is something different. Since last September, when we heard some voices from Hamas refusing uh, that the PLO, uh, President Mahmoud Abbas directing, going ahead to the UN, everyone criticized them, and they retreated. So now, so you're very you optimistic see... about the, uh, the the unity of these two groups. Yes. And there are no differences. And if I am very optimistic to see to see that the Palestinian parties are using this part of meat in the head, the brain, they are using it and they are going uh, in this way. And uh, maybe some some little parts of Hamas would need some some more time to understand to that. reconcile to these realities. Yes, but if they didn't accept, they will be out of the uh, the sink, out of the sink, as you see. What about the uh, general feeling in Palestinian people, common people? They have suffered so long uh, for the last 60 years. They have suffered More. treatment at the hands of Israelis. Are they exhausted? Uh, or they, uh, they think that it is not too much enough? Is Brother, enough? if you are exhausted, as you are a Muslim, from that, just send us your boy and forget about being exhausted. We are not exhausted. We are very ready to continue until we reach to the last point. We are continuing our belief of our you independence. You are still state. determined to continue this very, struggle? Very. Too much. And again, I'm telling you, yes, I have flu, but no, I'm still full of energy. We can go for that. It's not me. It's every Palestinian. Everyone is sticking to our dream to have our independent state. And not only to have it by name and khalas, it's finished. The no, no, no. Question. We are very determined to have a very, uh, what to say, a very unique state. And we can do that. Our experiment that has been shown in different countries, we participated, we shared with them building their countries. So many countries. You can, you will see what can we do. We are very determined to do that. Just send us your boy. Thank you, Ambassador. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Nazin, today in our program, you have Pakistan with Palestine's Safir Hazim, Janab Hazim Abu Shanaab, to talk to you. They say that Israel is now trying to do the whole world. It's been a long time for them. They have been a very big opportunity for Palestine in the United Nations. And they understand that the world is now trying to do the whole world. Israel is now trying to do the whole world with Palestine. اور انہوں نے یہ کہا ہے کہ اسرائیلی جو ہیں وہ تھکے نہیں ہیں وہ کمزور نہیں پڑے وہ ابھی تک پور امن جد و جہد یا سفارتکاری کا سہارا لے رہے ہیں لیکن وہ ڈیٹرمنٹ ہیں وہ پور عزم ہیں کہ ایک آزاد فلسطینی ریاست جو ہے وہ قائم کر کے دم لیں گے اسی کے ساتھ یہ پروگرام ختم ہوتا ہے جاوید سکتی کو اجازت دیجئے خدا حافظ تینکیو بیسٹر سپلائیر تینکیو مہدر